Eric Ahila here and welcome to today's vlog. Today we are going to be journalisming it. What is journalisming it? <laughs> it's simply being a vlogger <laughs> and a journalist. Don't get me wrong, I'm a college graduate, but I just thought it'd be kind of funny and creative in creating a word that no one really has yet. So there you go. Journalisming it. Copyright Eric Ahila 2018. Ding. This video is not intended to offend you or hurt your feelings. I am not in any way, shape, form, or fashion a discriminator. I love everyone. And this is made with a lighthearted intent. There is no mean-spirited intent in my video whatsoever. So please enjoy this and think of this as a humorous opinion. Hi, Eric vlogging here. Hilton escucha, están en la lucha. There's a protest happening here outside of the Hilton Anaheim Convention Center. I swear to Bob, this is not good for business. And I'm having a revelation here. I think protests are ineffective because first of all, you're protesting. This is gonna sound so biased and I don't come off that way at all. And this is gonna sound racist and it's not at all because I'm Latin American as well. But first of all, you're in Anaheim, California and you're protesting in Spanish. Like, hello? Like the Hilton is not gonna listen to you in Spanish. Like, you need to protest in English, number one. Number two, I'm realizing now, at the decade that we're living in, protesting by slamming, ergo noise and drums, isn't gonna get you the attention that you want by being the squeaky wheel to get the grease, okay? It's not gonna happen, honey bear. It's just not. And I'm gonna tell you why, okay? We are now in like a world where kindness helps, okay? You're making a ruckus. And there are clients here. You're taking away business from people. Now, if it's your own, like, because the company's not paying you or giving you the insurance, you should have known ahead of time to, like, find another career ahead of time. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you don't like the company that you work for. Okay, number one. Number two, if you really feel so compelled to speak your mind about what's going on in life, good for you, kudos to you, okay, or kudos to you, however you want to kudo or kudo or whatever. Really just to reevaluate your choices. First of all, it's getting cold. I doubt all of you came here with a sweater or a jacket to keep you warm during your protest amidst this weather change, okay? I think they heard me. Even though there's no way they can actually hear me, like, from, like, 200 feet away, but they're now protesting in English. I think somebody probably told them they need to protest in English if they want to get a point across. I mean, duh, hello? Like, really? If I protest in sign language, do you think anyone's gonna hear? Okay, for real. Okay, future interpreters of America, you know what I mean? And that was not meant to be offensive. And if you got offended, get offended, okay? Find something else to get offended about, okay? Furthermore, I'm not gonna be that guy that's gonna show you the protesters because I'm not like a point them out and ha ha kind of guy. But you can hear them in the background. Can you do it or can you not do it? Yes, you can do it, is what they're pretty much saying. But like still, like if, if you're like marching for like wage or insurance, you need to talk to the people above, okay? I doubt anybody who's in charge of this are like in the hotel right now. Hilton, listen, they're in the battle. Están en la lucha. Hilton, listen. I'm just saying, like, hello. It's because it's a weekday and nobody protests on the weekends anyway. Like, duh, we know this. Because it's family time, right? And like, don't get me wrong, okay? I lived in San Francisco, I went to college there. I'm sure I was involved in some sort of protest without like actually being involved because I don't do that, okay? I don't need to do that. I don't need to get like paint on me. That's just not kosher, okay? And I'm pretty sure it's like not animal friendly either, okay? So like, just don't do it. I mean, I get it, but like, think about it. They're wasting ink and paper and supplies to make posters. And what are you gonna do after the protest with all those supplies? I mean, I guess you can like repaint them and use them for like a school project, you know, for like your kids, because you protested. And like, also, if you're lucky enough to keep your job after protesting, kudos to you there too. You know, but I refuse to be like that one kid that like stands there with like a drum banging for my supper. Like, get up and get it yourself. I mean, ultimately, the only way that this is ever even a feasible protest is if somebody from the actual hotel, that, you know, the staff of the hotel, sees this protest and records it and sends it to the higher-ups. I mean, I'm sure if they did get paid better and they did have better benefits, they'd be more inclined to smile more and have a better day and not as inclined to want to do this protest, right? Like, that's why they're protesting, because things aren't being done right. But I mean, I think things can just be done like differently, you know? Like, can you do it like at the back of the hotel? All the other people like are now like coming out this way. So it's like driving up business. And I gotta say like, you know, the guy who's doing the protest, you know, the more power to him, like for real. You know, I feel like, you know, he's passionate about his life and he's passionate 
passionate about what he's doing. But like, does it have to be so loud? Like, who's like filming this? Do you have a YouTube channel? They should have a YouTube channel called like Protesters for America. Do you have a YouTube channel? Because if you don't, you need one. And if you do, why are you not out here filming it? They're like, unite here. Sh should I like join in? No, I'm cold. Let's see if you can like catch some sound bites from that. I'm gonna ask. I did interview some folks who were involved in the walkout. The, the workers here are fighting to have their wages increased. Their contract has expired. Oh, cool. Yeah. Right on. Okay, you as well. Okay, so I genuinely was interested, and that's why I asked. Oh my god, I'm going in as a reporter. Oh god, it's getting loud. I'm getting nervous. Is it taboo to like mingle with the protesters and ask them questions if I'm staying at the Hilton? I already got like looks from the staff. They're like, don't even go there. <laughs> Earlier this month, employees, families, and friends of Anaheim's Hilton Union joined forces in a march out. Interviewing an employee, I was informed this type of activity is not a protest, but merely a march out to raise awareness of expired contracts and low pay. Although the minimum wage in Southern California has now risen to $15 an hour, Anaheim's Hilton employees are operating on expired contracts and compensated only a dollar and 16 cents above the minimum, which does not sit well with the esteemed Hilton community. Now, this march can hopefully become the beginning of what can be a compromise in wages and employee satisfaction. From gas to groceries, the cost of living has risen and employees are unable to sustain a living with the wages provided. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Erica Gila, journalisming it here at Anaheim's Hilton. Back to you, Eric. Well, oh my me, well, thank you very much, me. And thank you, audience that are viewing. This is Erica Gila, giving you a little taste of what goes on behind the scenes when I travel the world. Here we are at Anaheim Hilton, and hope that next time you travel to Hilton, you not only think of everybody in the staff and give them some extra gratuity, but you give some extra appreciation and kindness. Thank you, Anaheim Hilton Convention Center, for all you do. From the pleasant smiles to the clean atmosphere, the delicious food in the bar, to the great staff, to the clean sheets and the beautiful views. Thank you, Hilton, for all you do. Now let's get your employees a higher wage and a happier contract. And here's to Happy New Year and a Happy Holidays to all of you. This is Erica Gila on YouTube, and I'll see you guys soon for another vlog.